your next boyfriend or spouse. <laughs> Pile one. Y'all, I'm delirious at this point, okay? I've been working, working, working. Nine of Cups. <laughs> Pile number two, Knight of Spheres. Pile number three, Eight of Swords. Okay. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Pause the video here to read them straight across. I look in the community tab to read them straight across. Pile one, pile two, pile three. And I'm gonna start with pile one. So we're gonna see. <laughs> Who's your next person? And if you need to be with them or if you need to swerve, are they trustworthy or are they not? Someone doesn't want to want you to know the truth. See, it stopped as I said that. I don't know what someone's doing in the wherever they are. Someone wants to distract you from the truth, you guys. Someone wants to distract, I got a phone call, I heard banging. Someone wants to distract you. Someone is a cheater. Someone is a cheater, guys, just so you know. So many distractions in this reading. Someone does not want me to say what they're doing, but someone's a cheater. Someone's a player and that's what they are. <laughs> this is my mentally unstable, Mentally incapacitated, dirt bitter in the head card. Legit. This is someone who will like light somebody's house on fire. We know who you are. We know who you are. If you guys feel like you can't trust somebody, trust that, okay? So that's just a side message. Yeah, this person has a bunch of side bitches, side women. And they're spying on me because they think I'm watching them. I'm not watching you, dude. I don't know what your fascination is with me, but I am not watching you. You could do whatever you want. That has nothing to do with me. I'm single, so why the fuck would I care? <laughs> All right. People are, people, people have done that. They're like, oh, she knows too much. Yeah, I'm a psychic. All right. For whoever that's for. But I'm the wrong one to mess with. Even if you think you're big shit, I'm the wrong one to mess with. I can back my shit up. I'm not all talk. Doesn't matter how many people you know, just know. But feel free. No one's ever beat me and what I know. So, but someone could be, this could be about you too. Like someone could be spying on you. But I just see someone trying to come to someone's house to burn their house so they could be quiet. I heard it again, the distraction. Yep. Someone's gonna back, whoever this is, someone knows what the fuck you're doing and they're gonna backstab you, you fucking idiot motherfucker just so you know a lot of times guys when people are psychopaths and sociopaths they're delusional they think they can get away with things they think they're invincible so you gotta let them think that pile number one let's get to the good part pile number one 238 who is coming next? Who is this new person? Who is this new person? <laughs> That's why I was feeling that. Someone is depressed from your past. Someone is depressed from your past and is miserable. Oh, this person's so miserable. This person is suicidal even. And you don't give a shit. You're just like, oh, I'm peaceful. What else does pile one need to know? I heard Dr. Kevorkian. Yeah, someone's a fucking, someone's fraudulent. Someone is fraudulent. We'll see if you have any new love. So there's someone who's passionate, okay? I see passion. Some of you are creating at this moment. You're not, three, three, three. Yeah, you're creating, 
You're manifesting and you're heavily, you're highly protected by ascended masters. What else does the collective need to know? You guys are so, <laughs> you guys are so in your zone and you're peaceful and you're taking care of yourself so much that things are just coming in for you. And I see you giving birth. I see you getting engaged. I see you giving birth. Just the whole shebang. You got Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. You're getting everything. And someone is going to be devastated. This could be your past person. This could just be, who is this? This, who is this? this is just a miserable person. Who is this person in pile one? Someone who's indecisive about you. I told you. You're getting pregnant, pile one. I told you the empress came. You know why it's coming to you? Because you don't want it. You're just like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> You're like, I don't give a shit. Your manifestation, see everything you wanted before is coming now because you don't want it <laughs> go ahead pile one what else is happening for pile one no one can stop it no one can fuck with your um purpose no one can do anything people are gonna try though people are gonna try people at during this season are trying to make you feel bad trying to make you feel low about yourself you're over here like i legit don't give a shit Look, the devil and the judgment. You got Saturn backing you up and these people are going to be distraught. I heard disabled too. People are gonna get in car accidents, car wrecks. I heard roof, something about the roof falling. I also heard the roof is on fire. See, someone's trying to start a fire, trying to come for you. It's gonna literally backfire. Their house is gonna be on fire. So, oh. <laughs> You're just moving on and looking everything. Oh my God, your manifestations are coming to the fruition, but it doesn't, the person's not there, but just know that this, who's this person though? Who's the baby daddy? Who's the baby daddy? Who's the daddy? Who's the daddy? Okay, it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I heard male or female. Females can't be daddies. Um. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You have an emperor here. So it's a heavy Aries. Oh, God. Okay. At first, I was going to say concubine. For some of you, they have multiple because I did a reading like that for earth signs. And it was like concubine. This person is going to invest in you and your baby, though, your child. They're obsessed with you. They love you and they're passionate about you. And they are going to speak to you. Damn, this person's like, you're mine. This person is possessive as hell. This person is obsessed with you. This is a good-ass pile. Um, can they trust this person? Can they, can they trust this person? You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Taurus, Libra. Can they trust this person? Um, you can, but you cannot repaint this person. So you can trust this person, but you can't let, you can't dismiss the red flags. Like if they do something, I'm hearing someone say, oh, your hair looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> if you see this person doing something or saying something, like don't be in your head about it. Address it. Can they trust this person? Spirit saying don't be delusional about this person. Can they trust this person? Yeah, you could trust this new person. Four of one. Yeah, you could trust this new person. Yep, they're not going to, they're going to tell you the truth. With the moon over there, they have nothing to hide. And they're traveling towards you. Page of Wands. Mm. 
Be someone could have started. I keep getting someone starting a fire. I'm hearing Gleesh Place by King Von. <laughs> I love that song, but I'm hearing Homicide, Home Invasions. I'm just going to say it. For some of you, this man is a, is a killer. Of course, it, of course, we start off the reading like this for Scorpio season, right? This could be a Scorpio, but I'm getting more so it's an Aries. So they could be ruled by Mars, heavy. It's... Yeah, someone's a killer. I'm getting evil twins. Well, for some of you, you can't be telling people's business if y'all want to live that life. Jesus. I was freed from this. I don't know which pile I picked. I don't know. I don't know which pile is mine, but this is giving me eye twitches. Someone is a killer in pile one. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying someone is a killer in pile one. I, this, this to me, this person, this is dead bodies here. Cause I'm hearing specifically, you ain't got no bodies, little, you a bitch, you a hoe, you ain't got, you ain't shoot nobody or something and evil twins. Someone is a criminal. Someone is a criminal. Someone is a stone cold killer. But they are infatuated with you. Let me check. Are they going to do something in my collective? This is one of those things where, okay. Are they going to do something in my collective? Hopefully they don't try to. If this is someone who doesn't like you, alert people because they may want to unalive you. I have to be blunt and honest. Y'all know what to do. I don't have to tell you to, who to call when you're in danger. If you're in danger, you do have to call people. I heart, I don't call, you know, unless I'm obviously in danger. But is this person going to harm Pile One? I don't like this card. Who is this person? Who is this person? Someone is stuck with a female they don't like. Someone's stuck with a female they do not like. I don't think this is their partner in crime. This is someone who is stuck with someone they don't like. So I don't know if they had a breakup, going through a divorce or something, or that someone is taking a while for them to go through a divorce. I think they see you as a 10 of cups. Yeah, they're not going to... Are they gonna harm the collective? I don't see them harming you. They might harm the other person though. Who is this person? Could be an air sign. This is a weird reading that I'm trying to move on from, but okay. Someone's protective of you. Someone is very protective of you, collective. Because someone could want to harm you. Yeah. This could be your past person. Who is this female? Hmm. They could want to harm you. And like burn you. 
So you have someone in the background who's protective over you. It could be a past person of yours with this five of cups here. What's the outcome of this? I don't, I can't let that go. Yeah, someone could want to burn somebody. Who is that female? Like, clarify all of this. That was the other female that's going to get on fire. But I feel like there's a man here who could want to harm you. That's just a side message because they're with this side bitch. And you could possibly know about it. And so they want to unalive you because you know too much. And there's someone protective of you who knows what this man wants to do. Is this the same man? I keep seeing that. Is this the same man? That person they're with could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, or an Aries, Taurus. They're going to get the wrath of God. I heard the wrath of Satan. Satan doesn't even like them. Nothing is going to work in their life. And they could lose a baby or children. They're losing their children. Yep, there's going to be a blockage there. Who is this new person? Okay. Someone's not going to be able to come towards you. I would book a private read for pile one, rewatch this, take the pieces that make sense to you, okay? Because I do have to move on. I'll get like one more card. Who is this person? This is someone that doesn't want you to leave them. Okay, so take what resonates from that. Ooh, guys, moving on. Call. You know who to call to get help from, okay? If you're in that situation. Creator, spirit, and angels. Go with your gut, go with your intuition. What new love is coming for pile two? Who's their next boyfriend or spouse? And if you're already married, just take what resonates, okay? Who's their next boyfriend or spouse for pile two? <sighs> Who's their next boyfriend or spouse for pile two? I heard pile three and pile four. <laughs> Who's the next boyfriend or spouse? Pile two. Okay, well you have it right off the bat. You have an emperor coming in. Okay, so you're showing up. <laughs> I was like, thank God. You're showing up as a queen of wands in the upright. Okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. Strength card. Ace of Spheres. Is this? Okay. Up or down? What's going on? Okay. You're good in this pile. Okay. Someone could be toxic, but they're not going to be toxic with you. This is an Aries. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You can trust this person. <laughs> you can trust this person. Okay. I do see you becoming a mother too, or you could be a mother, you could already be a mother and have two children already. This is a divinely guided relationship, but he is very dark. This person's on the darker side. I feel like you're light and airy. You could also have like 
It's giving Leo, Cancer, Capricorn, okay? Because you have the sun here and the high priestess. You could also be Pisces, like Libra. You're like <laughs> peaceful and balanced. And this person really loves and adores you. But this person is not sweet, okay? We'll just, they're, they're not kind at all. With you, they are. But I just... Yeah, this is, wow, a divinely guided relationship coming into you. I heard Mexico, too. This person going to want to take you on a trip. King of Spheres. Very stable connection. Heavy Taurus, too. So this could be an Aries Taurus. You're going to settle down with this person. This will be, this looks like it's going to be your spouse or already is, Okay. Ooh, oh my God, after I said that, the four of wands, they will express their emotions. This person's very territorial. Men are not gonna even wanna talk to you. If they do, I just see them getting knocked out or their teeth knocked out. This person's very aggressive. King to Queen of Spheres. This time, this is not like a bad card. Some of you are already with this person. Some of you are already with this person. This person loves you and will do anything to protect you. Okay, this person loves you and will do anything to protect you, okay? And I wasn't trying to be mean to anyone at the beginning. I just, I have to say what spirit tells me to say and protects, you know, the collective and obviously my own energy from outside energies. There's a lot of people who always think I'm spying on them. I don't have time to spy on you. You know, if I see you come across my, I don't know, For You page or something like that, um, you know, I'm not looking for anything. And I really don't care what people do unless it has something to do with me. Like if you're trying to backstab and betray me, then yeah, I'm going to look. Absolutely. Um, but if you're blocked, I'm not watching you. I'm just psychic. So you guys have got... You know, a guilty conscience is always going to have an issue. And I really don't give a shit. But this person loves you. They are traveling towards you. I heard cornucopia. They're coming towards you quickly. Why did I hear May and June? They could come Scorpio season. Something could happen in May and June. You could end up with this person in May or June. Also in February, they may want to lock you down in February. Yeah, they, they're, what did I, made a judgment call on the Empress. They could want to lock you down in February. Something about staples too, something about staples. I know some of you need to get organized or some of you could be Virgos too. You can have Virgo in your chart as well or pisces or taurus yeah there's nothing blocking this relationship you know there's nothing bad here i just this person is just very, you know what i'm getting to this person doesn't want you to pry in their business that's why i said that this person doesn't want you to pry in their business they do love you but they don't want you in their business It's giving very much, I'm providing for you, be quiet, but they're going to have to compromise a little bit because they can't just be like treating you poorly, which I don't think they're going to treat you poorly, but huh? for others of you, this person, they're going to be open. You could have an open, honest conversation with this person. I'm just hearing like, I'm hearing don't touch her. <laughs> that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing don't touch her this person could also be a pisces as well i'm getting pisces aries taurus could be a cancer too so pisces aries taurus cancer but the main signs are aries and taurus and cancer because you have the chariot 
I'm hearing he wasn't man enough. So if you guys are wondering about another man, it's not him. He's not man enough. If you're holding on to somebody, just let him go. This is not that person. Anyone who's coming against you or coming after you, I'm hearing DOA. So they will be dead on arrival. Also heard arrival. If you have any rivals, Spirit said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no evil shall come nigh thy dwelling. This person's going to end up... You know what it's giving? Because I'm seeing a man with a fire again. These... What, this is one of those readings where you have to watch each of the piles. It's like if this person tries to start a fire, they're going to do something stupid to where it's going to end up burning them. Like they're going to end up getting like gasoline on their clothes or something. And then the match goes off and it lights them on fire. Something like that. Who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person? Is this person wanting to do this to the collective or someone else? Like, what is going on here? Death. Two of Cups. I'm hearing I don't want to be a player anymore, so this person could be going through a transformation, but... Why is this here, though? Let me see. This reading today, I did not <laughs> expect it to be this. Creator, Spirit, and Angels, this person. Ooh, wee. This person, do they have anything to worry about in terms of this person? Is this person here to harm them? Okay, it's giving, it's giving that this person will unalive you if you, they feel betrayed by you talking to other people when you're with this person. This person will legit kill you for giving anyone but them attention like this person is cuckoo but they love you that's for some of you for others of you you're already with someone and it's calm and it's reciprocal but for others of you you have a dark like my book <laughs> you have a dark chocolate love coming <laughs> coming in You will get pregnant by this per yeah. But I feel like this person's gonna cool it and calm that down because they're gonna go through a transformation, but it'll take six months. During that six months, you'll be pregnant though. They'll be going through a transformation. I'm hearing it again. I'm hearing now you're pregnant. Now you're trapped. Like this per it's like I got you now kind of thing like that's how this person is but I feel like they're gonna quiet it down but if they don't you're gonna have to leave so play at your own risk <laughs> yeah and for others of you like I said this person is very kind and so I'm getting two different men here okay so you have to take what resonates it could be possibly three different men. I'm getting one who's very conversational. It's giving more Taurus Capricorn vibes. Very conversational, very laid back, very calm, you know. And y'all are already together for some of you. Like I said, I think I know this couple because um, that's my, my bro. 
and his girlfriend. And so you guys are already together. And then you have another one who's possessive, but not cuckoo, but they're like, okay, you're mine, you know, like that. But then you have someone who's cuckoo, who is like, if they could put your ass on a screen and just watch you all day, they have like surveillance on you, wanna know where you're going, where you're at, who you're talking to, will knock somebody out for even looking at you or if they're smiling at you, offering you a drink. I'm seeing two people at a bar and this person is just wanting to break this man's face and will do it and you'll ha and then you'll have to leave with this man and then the cops will be looking for him and it's like on the run situation and you also can't tell on this person because they'll leave you and be on the run or kill you for that like that's the third person okay there might be a fourth which is just a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, who he's aggressive, but he's not cuckoo. So y'all take whichever one resonates for you. Either way, it's someone good and they should be coming in between Scorpio season and June, okay? All right. Okay, I'm hearing do as I say, not as I do. So it's okay for this person to do it and not for you to do it. Y'all have to play at your own risk, y'all. <laughs> this person will provide for you, but there's rules and regulations and rules and consequences. So pile number three, damn. But they love you though, they really do. Again, it's giving mob mafia. Pile number three. I would say I'm surprised by that, but my life history, I'm not. <laughs> and I don't know which pile I chose, so we will find out later. I do not I don't announce my piles. Pile number three. Who is their next boyfriend? Pile number three or spouse who who is their next boyfriend or spouse jesus christ pile two. Oh my god this person's probably watching the fire behind this bird this person's aggressive like this you're you can't go nowhere when it comes to this person this person's like yeah i'm here and do some of you like that shit though especially during this season you're like oh it's kind of dark and creepy <laughs> okay Pile number three. Ooh, pile number three. I feel like you just had a breakup. Ooh. You just ended something. Some of you could be feeling trapped. Some of you could also have insomnia. Ooh, yes, yeah, some of y'all. Ooh, not doing good, pile three. Yes, yep, two of cups reverse. You just had a breakup. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so, ooh, yeah. And for some of you, this is not a subscriber of mine. This is their karma. They're going through it right now. They're going through horrific karma for trying to take, were they trying to, I don't. That's for some of you. Yeah, you deal with a lot of people who are in and out, in and out of you. This could be a thought or a sex worker who wants real love and they just, yep, this is someone going through bad karma. Yep. Having conflict in their life. Don't pray for these people. If you are a subscriber, yeah, the death. Ooh, Ooh. this is horrific karma. The devil, the death card and the judgment card. Five of Swords reversed, the Strength card in the reverse. Yeah, someone's not feeling good. Oh, well. If it's you, my subscribers, and you know you're innocent. Yeah, they were trying to take someone's money, trying to take someone's spot.
for some of you, I'm hearing like some, this man is protective over you. They will hurt. This is a really dark reading. Bring it in Scorpio season, right? <laughs> Jesus, 3333. This person I'm hearing, I'll lay something down for you. I'll clear a whole town for you. So even if it's a female, this person will backstab a bitch for you. And I feel like that could be current. Yeah, the emperor in the reverse here. Ooh, getting karma. I heard impeccable taste. Someone must have... This person is distraught. What the hell? Pile three, ten of swords. This person is just... Ooh, four of wands in the reverse. And the lovers in the reverse. And the three of wands in the reverse. Damn, this is a horrific pile. There's no love here. Someone could have tried to take someone's spot. No motion. Ooh, the chariot in the reverse. Yeah, someone is going through devastation right now. And then there's a man who could be coming towards you. I'm getting like a rescue vibe. Who is this man? Ace of Wands in the reverse. But if it's for you, please take care of yourself. If you guys know you're on the right side of karma, you didn't do anything wrong. Who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? Up or down, Jesus. And Aries wanting to take a risk. This person's going elsewhere. That's why this female is distraught. I'm hearing you get them how you lose them. Or you lose them how you get them. That's what I'm getting. Ace of Spheres. For others of you, someone could have did this to you. I'm sorry. Or if you're not a subscriber, I can't make this shit up. Seven of Swords. Someone backstabbed and betrayed you. And now someone's backstabbing and betraying them. What's going to happen? Nothing's going to... Oof. Nothing's working out for this person. Injustice. They did you an injustice. Now they're receiving injustice. I'm also seeing them losing a court case or winning a court case. You could be winning a court case. They could be losing a court case. I heard foul play. This person was delusional as well. This person is not pregnant. What the hell is going on? Who's the, this empress? Oh my God, why are these piles like this today? Jesus. Who's this empress? I heard personnel. The empress in the reverse spirit said. What else does a collective need to know? Who is their next boyfriend or spouse? Ten of spheres and the, I heard the divorce. Someone had a divorce. The hierophant and the divorce. I keep, I said it again. Queen of cups and the, I heard, I said it again. Divorce. Someone definitely had a divorce. And there's someone who's protective of you. Mm. I feel like a man could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I want heavy Taurus. Heavy Taurus, nothing's working out for, y'all gotta tell me what's going on, because I'm just reading. The Emperor, yeah, this is a couple who are not together anymore. It's a baby mom, baby dad. Yeah, then they're starting a new beginning. Yeah. 
Someone's also depressed. There's a male who's depressed. There's a male who's depressed that your marital status is changing because he left you for dead. And then you have a man coming towards you that is wanting to actually be a man. And so you have a man in the background depressed and you have his former partner or someone who wanted this man is distraught and depressed because they tried to meddle something with foul play. That's what's happening. So your next person is an Aries or a Libra, I'm hearing. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy Taurus. So a Taurus, a Libra, or an Aries. If you're talking to someone with those signs, it is them. So that's good to know. Yes, someone is going to have dreams about what they did to you. It's going to be haunting them. There is a female in this Knight of Wands energy, and there was a male in this Knight of Wands energy, but it's giving heavy female who is in this Knight of Wands energy. This is hoe behavior. This is a hoe. This is a thought. This is a cunt. Ace of Cups, I heard in the divorce again. Two of Cups. I heard in the divorce again. So someone definitely had a divorce or a breakup. If it's you, my subscribers, like I said, and you're on the right side of karma because y'all know I don't bullshit, I'm so sorry. You can certainly work with me. I also have courses, how not to get, how to get over heartbreak, how to be single and happy. I help clients with this all the time. So definitely let me know. I had to learn how to be single and happy. <laughs> you know? Look at everything that I'm doing. Hopefully, yeah, I'm proud of myself. Hopefully it helps you, inspires you in some way as well. You can't sit there and not enjoy your life, you know? That definitely comes from abandonment wounds when you feel like, oh my God, my, my special person, or... Especially if you have a personality disorder, or mental health issues, you know? Which many of us have had in the past due to trauma, you know, but once you're healed from it, it's very difficult for you to go back to it. So that's a good thing. So definitely feel free to work with me to help with that if that's what you're dealing with currently. Like I said, what's for you won't miss you, you know. Some people have a different mindset, but I don't. When it's what's meant for you will be meant for you. So go listen to my podcast on what will be, will be on how I met people, how people, dag, this per, who, these people, pile one and two, especially two are possessive as hell. They don't even want me talking about that. I don't even know if that's for me, but it's just the energy. It's just like, no, I don't talk about that. And here, we don't want to hear about that. <laughs> This person does not want to hear about any past person, especially if they're, I mean, that's legit, especially if they're providing and doing everything for you. No one wants to hear about past experiences unless they ask, you know, but if you're just gonna, oh, my last person did this for me and that for me, it's a little disrespectful, but like I said, I'm single. Someone's like, no, you're not. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to end the reading here because... This energy. All right, guys, to book a reading, click the link in the description box below. And subscribe to my Patreon. And y'all be safe out there because, Lord, honey chow, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.